Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video, doing JMA Friday for today's first video. We're having a look at web month ahead, and this takes us into January. We'll be going into the beginning of the new year uh, with JMA Friday today. So, we've had this cold first half to uh, December, it's been really quite wintry, uh, especially with the snow event that we had uh, on Sunday. We're losing the blocking signal a little bit now, next week is looking milder. Uh, we'll see that reflected within the uh, GMA and CFSB2 output. Uh, and then we're going to extend out beyond that to uh, see how long this mild uh, signature or signal uh, might go on for. So that's what we're going to do for today's first video. Uh, later on, we'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. I'll try and include the GFS uh, midday run in that. That'll take us up to the Christmas period. So, before we get on with that, just say that Chris Shop is still open. You've got any Chris Shop to do at Amazon Tea Now and Christmas. You've still got time to get Christmas. Christmas presents through to you. Uh, so click the green button that says Gaz Christmas Shop. It takes you to our Chris Shop page. And then from there, the key to it all is to go through the Amazon banners. Of course, you've gone from Gaz Service to Amazon. Uh, we get a revenue fee on the things that you buy when you get to Amazon. A big thank you to everybody uh, for doing that as uh, normal. 10 days till Christmas, so it's getting ever closer. Um, don't leave it too much longer, but they're quick with delivery at Amazon, so you do still have time just about to get those Christmas presents through to you. I say a big thank you to everybody for doing that. Right, I'm going to start off with the uh, JMA. Uh, then we'll have a look at CFS V2. So we're beginning with the 500 millibar height anomalies broken down into weekly periods. Um, from the North Pole view down. So this is the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere, just here, mid latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere are around there, but British Isles is um, just there. So 500 millibars, 80,000 feet is the area in the absolute high pressure, low pressure have been moved around by the jet stream running above. Let's separate low pressure and the orange, yellow and red to high pressure. So this is the week one 500 millibar height anomaly taking us from today, the 15th, through to the 22nd of uh, December. We've got above average heights to the west-southwest of the country and below average heights up to the north and the northwest. And that means we do something like that with the flow of the jet stream. We re-establish the Atlantic flow, essentially, albeit still with an anti-cyclonic signature. So still a lot, a lot of high pressure, a lot of dry weather. It's just that instead of the high pressure being to our north and west, it's more centred to our uh, west or southwest which brings milder winds in from off the Atlantic. So the coming week, we'll see a recovery in the temperature from around Sunday onwards. We're going to see the temperatures uh, lifting up and it will be turning milder through the course of next week. Then we go through to week two, which takes us from the 22nd of December through to 29th. And uh, again, we keep westerly flow going. So no sign of a return with this model, anyway, to colder weather through this uh, last or week of December around over the Christmas period. We've got below average heights up to the north, above average heights to uh, the south, and we bring these westerlies through the Atlantic into the British Isles and Europe uh, like that. Now, it's a little bit more unsettled compared to week one. So there will be some wind and rain around, particularly so the northern parts of the country, but for the south, there will be a reasonable amount of dry weather and uh, essentially it would be pretty mild as well the flow is off the Atlantic so temperatures would be relatively mild during this Christmas period no sign of a cold Christmas from um, the JMA model uh, certainly we'll have a look at CFS V2 in a moment and then we go through to weeks three and four, which takes us from the 29th of December to the 12th of January. And uh, this one also looking unsettled and quite mild, really. Uh, so we're just bringing again the Atlantic flow through the country with the jet stream uh, like that, the above average heights. There is a signal for Northern blocking. There's quite a lot of high pressure to our north, but not really in a position to be delivering cold weather uh, to us. So actually where the cold weather is going with that blocking is down there, sort of into Canada and uh, western parts of America. That's where the cold weather from the um, high pressure from the blocking uh, is going on that uh, sort of uh, scenario. And then probably some of the cold would also be going down 
into here in central parts of uh, Russia. But essentially, we're on the wrong side of a blocking Picard weather. So we've got this low pressure out in the Atlantic, we've got above average heights over to the east of Europe, and we bring the flow through rather like that. Bear in mind, that is a, a two-week anomaly. It's weeks three and four. So it covers, as I say, the 29th of December to 12th of January. There might be some changes within that period, of course. So it's not totally guaranteed that uh, this would be um, like this throughout the two weeks. You, it might be like this through the first week of January, and then something uh, changes in the second week of January, and you never rule that out. But essentially, for the two weeks, that looks a relatively mild and uh, unsettled signal there for the end of December and into the start of the new year. So this takes us through to the um, mid-latitude and tropical view. Have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies that go with those heights next. And that's the equator of the uh, Earth just there. We've got the northern hemisphere on the northern side of the equator there, southern hemisphere on the southern side of the equator down there. Uh, we've got America and Canada just there. We've got uh, sort of Russia and uh, Asia, including China, uh, around there. Uh, Europe is over here. And the British Isles in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it. Uh, so a reminder of the uh, week one, 500 millibar high dolly with high pressure to ourselves, low pressure out to the north, and the northwest, and we bring the air up uh, rather like that, so it's Atlantic driven, but it looks quite mild, albeit fairly dry. That's the temperature anomaly, and it's coming out significantly milder than average in the weekend. A complete flip around on what we've had in December so far. 15th to 22nd of December should be uh, warmer than average overall. And the uh, rainfall anomaly, so it looks a little bit wet for the far north of Scotland, but most places are actually coming out with um, below average precipitation. So it's drier than average, milder than average in the week ahead. We go through to uh, week two, which takes us from the 22nd, 29th of December. We have uh, above average heights to our south through the Atlantic going into uh, Europe, below average heights up to the northwest. And the flow of the jet stream comes across the Atlantic into British Isles, Europe like that. So the temperature anomaly over the Christmas period still comes out above average. A mile of an average week is being predicted there from the 22nd to 29th of December, ending uh, the month on a mild note. Uh, and the rainfall anomaly, that's increasing. So it's mild and unsettled here as opposed to being mild and dry, uh, like we see in that uh, first week. And then through to weeks three and four, looks increasingly unsettled here. Uh, deep area of low pressure, below average heights is in the middle of the Atlantic. Above average heights are pulling back towards the east coast of America. We may be treading the jet stream a bit further southwards there. So, um, although it's very unsettled in, and Atlantic driven, it might be going a little bit cold, just purely because this area of above average heights is pulling back sort of into the um, middle of the Atlantic and actually going over towards the east coast of America, which could well allow the uh, jet stream to move southwards and possibly start pulling some colder air from the northern Atlantic. Looks very unsettled. Precipitation anomalies from the end of December and the early part of January are above average. And what are the temperatures doing? Well, they're still coming out uh, milder than average, albeit... They're lowering, if you like, so it's not as mild as it is, particularly through the um, Christmas period. But even so, still a bit on the mild and average side. Notice many parts of the Atlantic, though, Northern Atlantic anyway, are going colder than average, and that could well be indicative of the jet streams moving southwards. Remember, that's a two week for the anomaly, so what could happen there is that week three, uh, which is kind of like the new year period, that could still be. Uh, milder than average and then maybe week four goes quite cold as the jet stream uh, shifts to our south we go on to the cold side of the jet something like that could be at work here within uh, weeks three and four so maybe as we get in towards January the chance of uh, or hints perhaps of something a bit colder from the JMA 
However, overall, he does look as though the next month is shaping up to be uh, really quite mild. And after a dry start, increasingly unsettled. CFSV2 next. Uh, see how that compares. So, again, this is uh, week one. 500 mm height anomaly. This takes us from the 15th to 21st of December. Above average heights to our west and southwest. Below average heights up to the north. And also to our east. The flow and the jet stream does something uh, like that. So it's turning milder. That's essentially the message that we get from this. Uh, initially, we are still on the cold side of the trough and the ridge bringing the air down from the north. But eventually, by next week, we'll be bringing the air up from the central part of the Atlantic Ocean. So it will be turning milder in the week ahead. Then we go through to uh, week two, which is the 22nd to 28th of December, covering Christmas period. Very, very similar to what the JMA has shown, with above average heights to our west-southwest, below average heights up to the north, northwest, and bringing the flow through rather like that. Could be quite cold or wintry into the southeast of Europe uh, on the cold side of the jet stream there. But for us, essentially, it's Atlantic driven, so it's fairly mild. And a reasonable amount of dry weather there as well. I think the only difference between the JMA and the CFS for um, week two is that we have more of an anticyclonic influence. So it should be, particularly from the south, relatively dry, but still, <coughs> excuse me, on the mild side. Then we go through to uh, week three, which is the 29th of uh, December through to the 4th of January. This one looks more unsettled. So the above average heights are pulling out into the middle of the Atlantic, setting up a mid-Atlantic ridge. Below average heights to the west-northwest. And we do something like that with the flow. We've actually noticed still a very, very extensive blocking signature here over the pole. And heading into parts of Greenland as well. So, I mean, there's a lot of cold air that's being produced by that blocking. But most of it, again, would be going down into Canada and uh, sort of western parts of America. I think this is cooler, though, this New Year period, because the flow would be going more northwest to southeast and the jet stream as well. But it's very unsettled. It's not particularly cold. Um, but uh, it is cooler, I would have thought, that... And uh, probably very unsettled too. And then we go through to week four, which is the 5th to the 11th of January. And we just continue to be very unsettled. Below average heights just to our west, northwest. Above average heights down to our south. Getting a big blocking signature over the top of the North Pole. But not quite in the right position to produce anything particularly cold and wintry for us. We bring the flow in off the Atlantic uh, rather like that. Temperature anomalies for the week ahead with CFS V2. They're coming out warmer than average from the 15th, 21st of December. Uh, and then the Christmas period, the 22nd, 28th of December. That comes out also with substantially milder than average temperature anomalies. Week 3 does see a lowering of the temperature anomaly. So it's still, from the 29th of December to 4th of January, still little bit milder than average but it is significantly cooler so i think that period around the new year perhaps has some wintry potential for the north particularly as we send the jet stream on a northwest southeast trajectory but then week four increases the mild signal again this is the fifth to the length of january going significantly milder than average precipitation anomalies in the week ahead with cfs v2 they're coming out around normal uh, I would expect it to be a bit drier than that, really. Uh, week uh, two, again, that's around average, but going a little bit wetter for the far north and west of the country. Week three is looking wetter than average, above average rainfall and cooler. There could be some wintry potential there, 29th of December to the 4th of January, week three, uh, particularly for northern parts of the country. And then week four, which is the 5th to the 11th of January, that one is also looking above average with the uh, precipitation. So... Not much to go on if you want colder conditions. It looks like the long-range models want to shift us 
into a milder and increasingly unsettled spell by the end of the year and into the start of 2018. Now, what I'd say about this is that these models could well be overreacting to the change that we are going to get next week. We are going to get an increase in the temperature. We're going to lose the blocking signal. Instead of having high pressure to our north and west, we're going to have it to our west-southwest. That's going to bring the mild air up from the middle of the Atlantic, and it will get milder. Then these long-range models want to run with that signal really through the rest of the year and even into the start of January. They might be going over the top with that, and it's possible that even by the end of the year, we might be back back into an increasingly cold and blocked uh, scenario. There's a few hints there, especially, I think, from the JMA week 3-4, 500 bit of a height anomaly, that we could start to set up something a bit colder by the start of 2018. We're definitely going into a milder phase, so next week will be substantially milder. So if you don't like the cold weather, there is going to be significant moderation coming up next week as temperatures will lift into mild, possibly even very mild categories uh, through the course of next week. But how long that lasts, whether this does extend out for several weeks, like these long-range models are showing, I'm a little bit dubious about that. As I say, I think they might be overreacting to the change that is coming uh, next week. So that's Joe Friday. Don't remember, it's just a snapshot of what these long range models are showing today. They could look very different uh, when we look at them in a week's time. Um, later on today, I'm going to have a look at where the next week's end days will take us to Christmas Day. And I'm going to try to include the midday run of the GFS in that. So it'll be a little bit delayed. Probably won't be till around uh, 6 o'clock this evening, uh, something uh, like that. So come back for that then. But uh, that's all we're now. Thanks for watching.